What's going on guys? So we are still out here at ROA Off-Road at their Experience Center, just south of Salt Lake City, Utah. It is a beautiful day. It's very cold outside and the mountains look absolutely amazing in the background. They honestly have the most scenic, like, backdrop I've ever seen at any place I've been to in a long time. That said though, I got Shane here. He's one of the owners. How are you doing today? Doing great. How are you? We're doing good. Um, honestly, we've been looking at a lot of RVs, so I've asked him this question multiple times throughout the day, and he continues to do well, but if this is the first video you're watching, you definitely want to go back and check out some of these absolutely insanely off-road capable travel trailer RVs that they have out here, and we have a lot of them to look at as well. So all the main brands that you want to look for, they have. And uh, if you want something that's truly, truly off-road able, this is the place you want to look at. Anyways, what are we looking at here today? So this is the Conqueror brand. This is a company that originally comes out of South Africa. They've been in business over 30 years, and they just barely came to, US, to the US in the last few years. Now they have moved their production over to China, the South African company, um, and they've now um, are making and shipping to the US, which is really exciting. This is the UEV 14. Uh, the previous tours that we did were more of the very rugged, they're the ones that have been around for over 30 years. These ones are a little bit more new to their lineup. They are getting to a little bit more creature comforts on the mm -hmm. inside, you'll see in a bit. Uh, but this is a hybrid, so it does have a pop top with canvas and then uh, about 75% solid walls. As far as RVs go, where do you rank this product in terms of overall build quality? I mean, compared to what you're seeing that comes out of America and Indiana, it, to me it's night and day. It's not even, it's like, it's like comparing Kias to, you know, Mercedes Benz, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, they're on a different level, different playing field, right? Uh, I think the quality is way, way better. Yep. You know? And this is, this is definitely going to be better than the brand in terms of quality than like Black Series. Yeah, for sure. And, and the reason is just the management of the company, the ownership um, and oversight to seeing the, making sure things come. Nothing's perfect. Nothing's perfect. Not, even our trailers, the, there's always things that can go wrong on trailers, mm -hmm. but like to me, it's, it's night and day difference in quality. But that said, let's start from the front of this unit, see what's going on. We're going to work our way to the back, then hop inside. Yeah, well, let's talk about a little bit this area up here. These incredible doors with these cam locks that suck in and give you a great seal. Um, right here we have the, it's an air ride suspension. So it is independent with A-arms, with gas shocks and airbags. And this gives you the ability to level side to side. Airbag Man is an Australian company. You can see there's a tank that fills up too. You can also use this air outlet for um, pumping up your tires or any boats or rafts or bicycles. This is your propane connect to your outside refrigerator. Um, up here too, you have these mounting spots where you can actually mount and tie things down. The material, the wall on this, is a little bit different. The, the previous models were anodized aluminum and this is actually an aluminum composite material. Okay. So it's a honeycomb aluminum. It, it looks kind of like a radiator if you cut it open. Uh -huh. You look at it and it looks like there's, the, do you say, all these little lines yeah, of aluminum. Yeah. It's pretty cool material though. Very, very strong um, and durable. Very cool. And I love, real quick, I always talk about baggage doors and how thick they are. Yeah, nothing's thicker than that. That's insane. That's probably a two inch thick door. Yeah. That's crazy. And this right here is your propane area. It is a, uh, a galvanized steel chassis. Um, and then you have your brake with your DEO 35. That's a cruise master, Australian company. This is your jockey wheel where you can Real quick, it. people that watch my channel sometimes may not know what that is. That's an articulate, fully articulating coupler. Yeah, so that goes side to side. And that's gonna put the stress, you know, take the stress out of the frame and the trailer and everything's gonna pivot here. So imagine your trailer's off camber and your truck's on a different, you know, you can go side to side and it's not gonna, put that torque on the ball. The ball's gonna pop off if you get get mm -hmm. to something crazy like that. That's a heck of a jack up here. That's really cool looking. Yeah, then coming over here, you have just an added their storage compartment. Uh, this is your outside kitchen sink. And then every unit comes with a spot where you can actually add an ax for your firewood. Very cool. And we saw that in the other units over here. So you can actually see the axe right there and on the other unit next to it as well. Very cool. Anything? Yeah, this one is going to be a little bit different. This has a good amount of storage on this unit. 
Uh, this. Oh, wow. I would say, well, the kitchen comes into about right here. Okay. So right at that platform, you can see. That's still a huge amount of storage. Yeah, this one right here comes all the way out. And you got a nice tray and spots to mount stuff. You yep, know? and I see there's some trays that look like they go into the coach as well. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, you'll see that in a second. You can see all the all the plumbing is the pecs with the actual uh, metal elbows. Yeah. Not dealing with those plastic ones. Yep. And then you have the polycarbonate um, dual pane windows as well. I love these windows. These windows are like the best thing ever for the RV industry. Yeah, coming back here, you have your jerry can holders. And this one does ha pop out for the bed itself. And then you have this spare tire with the uh, fire grill. Yeah. That goes on so the fire too. grill if you want to see what it looks like it's like that so it actually covers a tire and it turns into or doubles as a fire grill this one has it been used uh i don't know but that one looks really cool yeah. and he says that he's used them before so we have very very cool this right here is your positive air pressure and that just blows air into the cabin and it pressurizes so that air can't actually come in while you're off-roading and i really love this this is all aluminum so your banding here is aluminum. Yeah. And this, everything is the aluminum composite material. And then this is kind of a uh, storage or pantry where you can access inside or outside. Very cool. Yeah, I can see how those would roll up on the inside. Here's your suspension down here, like he was talking about. This is an air ride suspension on it. Uses the air compressor up front so you can raise and lower each side independently. That is cool. Yeah, and right next to your kitchen, I really appreciate this these storage. Oh yeah, these that's are, good size storage too. These are all aluminum too. All the tracks and drawers. That is very cool. And then they put the Snowmaster refrigerator in here. And then you have the two cook. Yep, and then on the end here is where you'd put your sink. So this raises up like that. You put two bowls in here, lift up your faucet, and you have both hot and cold water here hot too, right? Yep, yeah, and it's all plumbed in so you don't have to hook it up. And then this one, you open up and have some silverware and cups, plates. Yep, that is awesome. Yeah, a little stick on the bobby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shrimp on the bobby, <laughs> whatever. This is for those extreme uh, extreme folks in, in Johannesburg <laughs> who go out in the middle of lion country and have wine and cheese I know, right? next to their RV. And look at this, I just love the laser cut engraved of the, yep. the name and everything. Let's step inside of this absolutely gorgeous UEV 14. Yeah, look at nice backlit. Yeah, and then you have this really heavy duty screen that locks up and yeah. you can actually lock this. It locks at the top, the center, and the bottom. And I love how it passes through that part whenever you put them together. Yeah, so it actually separates from the door. So it's lockable, the screen. That is very cool. And when that goes together, it's lockable. That's so creative. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's an Australian company. This Electric door. step with a manual override. So yeah. if for some reason your battery dies or whatnot, you can still pull or push your step in. And then there's the manual override lever right there. Here's all of your controls. I'll let him go over that real quick. Yeah, so this is actually, you have the, the radio stereo Bluetooth system. You have the Truma, which is your water heater and your furnace. Um, and then you have your AC. Everything is ducted, so you're not just, you know, it's not like a cheap heater just blown out of one port. You actually have all this ducting you can see throughout. This is heat and air conditioning throughout. You have your lights right here. Turn on your outside lights, and then uh, this turns. Ooh, yeah, I awesome. like the lighting. The lighting is really cool. That is really cool. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, electric awning too, and then a bunch of plugs, 12 volt ports and um, cigarette lighter too. I think and the then, heater was on in here at one point. Oh yeah. it feels good in here. It's nice and warm. I think it's turned off just by itself. Uh, this bed behind you is big enough for two adults. Oh yeah. So it's a, it's a whole length of the Yeah, that's cool. Too. You have some extra little plug-ins here. And then this is these drawers. Oh, I love that drawer. Let's Look see. at the latch right here. Yeah and all aluminum and then this is also the the facade and everything is all the honeycomb aluminum this is this looks like wood but it's actually aluminum well oh, that's cool the fit and finish in here is absolutely amazing yeah 
cool. And then we got a nice little area here for storage. I love these latches. That is so cool. That's the first time I've ever seen these latches. Very nice. Yeah, but not much here. This is all oh, your controls are back panel. there. Yeah. yeah, but I'm yeah. sure it's easy to service them if you ever had to for yeah, some reason. Two screws and you're in. Yeah. What one of the things that we haven't actually talked a lot about, but a lot of these trailers are very easy to service, and I mm -hmm. think they purposely, with that off-road mentality mm -hmm. mindset, they make a lot of the panels. Like right here, this is the perfect example. See this whole panel right here? These bolts, you can just. Maybe not hand tight, but you grab your leather yeah. mint or whatever, and this screws and the whole panel pops out. Yeah, no, that's awesome. You know, very easy to access. Serviceability in the RV industry is desperately needed, so that is good. Yes, yes, for sure. And then you have your screens, um, and then you have your blackout yep. shades. And that is aluminized on the back of it, so it reflects off heat, and then they connect together, and then you can basically position it wherever you want along this track, so you can let as much light in or as little light in as you want. This is super cool. Yeah, this this kind of comes up out of, and that gives you access to those outside the shelves. Outside yeah. shelves, or you can get some access. Oh, that's to a cool. Yeah. Up here, um, and then this has a pretty good amount of storage throughout too. I see that these are pretty deep. You also have ducted air conditioning under here, so while you're sleeping, it can blow on you. Um, your TV there. Is there any storage under these um, pillows? No, that mostly all your batteries, your furnace, your AC, all your components okay. are going to be underneath there. So it all kind of lives in a conditioned space though. So, yeah. okay, that's cool. Now this is, this is cool. This is a, this is a gas assisted table. Very and then cool. this drops down and you have, it's kind of in between a queen and a king size. That's a pretty big bed. bed. Yeah, yeah. It's the full weight width and pretty much the length of a, a king size bed. Yeah. More storage up here. I guess you could probably put a microwave up here if you wanted. Yeah. Or you guys could probably add a microwave because all the oh, yeah. customization you do. You do a lot of customization. And the nice thing is this has your inside and outside refrigerator. Sometimes you just want to be able to... Is this 12 volt or gas electric? This is 12. Okay, yeah. That's, I didn't see the fins in most, there. Yeah, most of, most of all the trailers that we sell are going to be 12 volt. Everyone's pretty much moved away from gas electric if they yeah. can. Ooh, check that out. I don't know if I noticed that before. Soft closing. Yeah. Kind of give it a little boost. <laughs> Very good. And we got our wet bath over here. Very nice wet bath. I'll step inside here. This is actually one of the nicest wet baths I've seen in any RV. I love the sink here. A lot of space around here, plenty of leg room. You have a spot for your wand actually up here on the top so you can take a nice shower. The only difference here is that this actually comes in a little bit more than I saw in one of the other ones. But you still have a lot of room in here. Nice LED lighting above. Very, very nice wet bath. And then you can service your plumbing if you need to right there. Very marine feeling. This is a super, super cool travel trailer. What do you guys think? Okay, so we are back outside of this UEV 14. Uh, dry weight on this unit's about 4,300 pounds. Cargo capacity is roughly about 1,000 pounds, right? Yes. So cargo capacity is gonna be about 1,000, so it's gonna be under 6,000 pounds when everything's said and done, way under. Uh, this thing is easily towable by most half-ton trucks with the tow package, um, because you're gonna want your brake controller and all that other stuff as well, or even some of your larger SUVs that have your higher towing capacities. But this is a really, really cool, compact i guess the body overall length of this is what about 22 feet long you, you yeah, guess 21 21 feet okay 21 feet and just very cool in general this thing is super awesome i would love to actually have one of these things because it's it's a lot more convenient to take something this small out whenever you just want to go on a quick weekend trip out to the beach or you want to go somewhere and just spend some time and have that outdoor indoor kind of dual purpose capability but now it comes down to the two questions we ask one off-road capability um i'm gonna say this is probably slightly lower like maybe a 7.5 7.5 only because of that extra length he's taught me a lot about you know departure angles and clearances and things like that and the longer you go you lose some of your angles now the crazy thing here is if you're towing this with like a, a half ton pickup truck it's still going to have better approach and depart departure angles than almost any half ton truck out there that hasn't been crazy modified which means 
that you really can say this is like a nine or 10. If you believe your half ton truck is like a nine in terms of off-road capability, you'd probably have to bump this up to a nine just because this is probably capable of going to places your truck can't even go. Yeah, for sure. The, the, uh, the Ford, like if you just go with a stock F-150, the departure on this is higher than a stock yeah. F-150. So. Even a Raptor, it seems like you're, you're pushing the bounds of, I mean, a Raptor could probably tow something like this, but at the same time, you still don't have some of the clearance capabilities of this with a Raptor. Yeah, right. For sure. So very cool. Uh, pricing now. So my gut tells me that this is gonna be a bit more expensive than some of these other units, mainly because of its size, what it's constructed out of, uh, some of the features. I'm gonna say, I may actually be low on this one, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna say 75. Ooh, that's, that's right on. That's right now what we have them listed for, 75. Okay. Uh, we do have some last year models that are still available, with, which will be less, but brand new 2023, you're right around 75. Okay, and the, the key here though is, is check out the website because pricing can sometimes change. I yeah, mean, sure. the price we give you today, I mean, with prices, in some cases they've gone down. In yeah, some yeah, cases they've gone a up. A lot of the RV industry is going down. Um, you know, this is one of the neat things about looking at this type of product. It's off-road and the nicheness of it uh, tends to keep the pricing kind of more stable yeah and this is good for us is because we sell them obviously but yeah. it's also good for you as the end user because if you're gonna buy something you'd rather buy something that is gonna hopefully maintain its value better than if you go out and buy you know a standard travel trailer and they built 20,000 of them they're, yeah. they're gonna drop the value is gonna drop well and that, at the same time though I, I can't imagine that they need to do a lot of changes to the interior and components. Like you're constantly seeing in the RV industry, one year to another, they could have changed almost everything out on the inside. And because they probably stay relatively similar, just one model year to another, yeah. you know, th there's also not the need to have to justify those changes and yeah, the new parts sure. and distributors. But very, very cool. Definitely check out RVs of America off-road. They have an absolutely amazing YouTube channel where they show you the capabilities of their stuff and not just talk about it yeah so. no absolutely it's roa off-road and we we have like hour-long tours if you want more depth and or just want to see them going off-roading we do a lot of that so check us out very cool i appreciate it guys if you haven't had a chance please take a moment subscribe to both of the channels give us a thumbs up we'll talk to you again very soon